Hello everybody, it's October the 4th and the uh, Maytag restoration is now complete. After approximately 85 hours of restoration work, I've now got it home from the shop. Uh, the front decal has been applied. It's not actually the authentic one. It should have a square block at the bottom that says Maytag, but uh, unfortunately my source is out of those and will no longer be producing them. So this is a, the closest thing to it. Still looks pretty good, I think. It says right there, the Maytag Company, Newton, Iowa, USA. Great decal. There's that serial number again, 611246D. And this uh, machine was uh, produced in November of 1935. The reason I got another one of these, uh, this is my second Model 30, but this is a 30WP, meaning with pump. So there is the pump mechanism. The, uh, the intake hose down to the pump from the wash tub. Of course, the impeller housing at the front. And here's the on-off lever. It's in the off position there. That's now engaged. And then there's the discharge hose, which runs alongside the motor and up to the back with the beautiful brass gooseneck. Uh, by the way, there's going to be another decal uh, on the side of the ringer housing there. It's on order, as well as one for the top of the lid. As I mentioned, these rollers were in absolutely amazing condition. Just uh, pristine almost. The bottom uh, is a little discolored still, but bleach in the water will bring that up to a brighter white, or cream color, I should say. There's the polished uh, on-off lever for the ringer. The crown, as you can see, is uh, has been brought up to a beautiful mirror finish. And now for a shot of the inside. I'll try and do this one-handed. So it was traditional, or I should say authentic, um, that I didn't paint the inside of the lid. They weren't uh, painted until years later in the uh, 40s for the E2 model. I'm not sure the exact date. It might have been even as late as the 50s when they started painting the insides of the lid. And here's the interior of the wash tub with the highly polished agitator, which is in excellent condition. No pitting at all. No pitting in the tub. Uh, there was just a lot of corrosion. So this is an ongoing process of of restoration. I'll continue sanding and scrubbing it with SOS pads until it comes up to a satin finish. Of course a few washes always helps that. And let's uh, have a shot at the side of it. There's the fan belt shroud. New cord on the motor, of course, three prong. And the lovely on off lever. Or on off uh, switch, I should say. There's the lever with the big light handle. Again, original. So that is the end result of a uh, three week project. As I said, about 85 hours worth of restoration. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for your interest.